Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play I Want to Be the Overlord. Well, we are once again continuing our journey through NatGuard, and, um... Wow. This room's a step up. Because, hey, I was not expecting to say room quite like this. It's definitely a step up. Oh, you know, actually, this room looked really hard, but this is actually really easy. <laughs> ah, I shouldn't have expended my double jump there. By the way, I bet now that we have a longer attack range, we can probably kill that uh, stopwatch rabbit that blocks the way to the desert. It's probably what that's for. So I guess after we're all done with this area, we'll head back there. There we go. Easy clear. Well, that looks like it loops around over to there, so let's see where this goes. Oh. Oh, this one's facing the right way. Yeah, okay, you know what? You're gonna be like that. Wow, when they're facing the right way, these guys are actually a little bit of a threat. Huh. I'm not sure what the point of that was. Maybe I, maybe I need a certain item or something for use in that room. I don't know. There's no question mark or anything in there, so... I don't know, maybe that's just supposed to be, like, your way back or something? That probably is what that is. I guess it's just meant to be, like, a, a route back. Because I guess you... Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get back through this room. If you don't have the ocarina, I guess you'd just be kind of stuck over here. <laughs> Since there's not going to be any more teleporters this way. Well, in that case, I suppose we will just head on to the right. And, hey, there's another one of those, uh... Yeah, it's one of those uh, stone tablets. There was also one back in the uh, the Moonlight Forest. I guess we can't do anything with them, though. Hmm. Well, now I'm really curious what that is, like, in the middle of the map that I didn't explore. Well, here's that thing that I missed. Yeah, we need to go down here and disable these blocks. Ow. And then I guess we need to go back up. I, like, we need to, like, make our way back up then. Oh, I didn't save there. I guess that explains why there's, uh, two blocks in this room like that. I just don't understand how the heck we're supposed to get back up here? Ah. Uh.
Like, how? Is there any arrow I could possibly use? I mean, there is this one, but if I use this one, then we're not going to be able to really go anywhere over here. How the heck are you supposed to get back up there? Oh, you're kidding me. Really? <laughs> okay, then. That is all my confusion cleared up. Okie dokie then. I did that the hard way because I was thinking I, I needed to conserve that, but whatever. Ouch. Come on, we're almost back there. Oh, finally. Now let us see what awaits us beyond this point. Is this a boss? Oh, wait. Oh, great. I love invisible mazes. Aren't they just amazing? Yeah, totally not. What could be over here? Maybe it's another key item. Oh well, at least there's nothing in this room that can kill me from the looks of it. Oh, okay, this whole thing up here is a dead end. Hey, where the heck's the correct path? Oh, here I think I'm finding something, maybe. Just maybe? I really thought I was. <laughs> Gotta be close, though. You know, actually, wait, I bet you I need to jump to something right there, don't I? Aw, oh, man. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Hey, what is this? Magic torch. Wait, can I use that to light those torches in the Argoth Shrine, maybe? Well, not that the game will tell me. Oh. <laughs> nice, the whole maze is open now. Well, I guess that's, well, barring secret areas, I might have missed. Um, that looks like it's everything here in the Argot, the Argot Shrine, here in Natgard, so... I guess let's go back to the Argot Shrine and see if we can do anything with those, uh, torches. Hmm. Ah. Uh, well, it seems I cannot light these unlit torches. Huh. I guess they don't amount to anything after all. Well, uh, let's go pay Mr. 
uh, watch Stopwatch Bunny a visit. Hey there! Guess what I got? Yeah, oh, he's called a time rabbit, okay. Well, that takes care of that. Say this is a good looking desert. Okay, I thought I'd be able to just stand still under that. Etars. Should I go down, or should I stay up here? I'm gonna stay up here. <laughs> Shot, dude. I just realized the spikes in this area, they're giant rubies. <laughs> That's interesting. You know, despite, the, despite this place being called the Dancing Desert, I don't see very much dancing going on. I wonder why it's called that. Maybe the boss is a dancer. Who knows? Why do I keep getting killed there? Yes, I know it's because I'm touching the ruby, but whatever. What is this? Wait, what? So you have to pick the exact... Oh, wait, wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. So the wind flow shows you exactly where to go. Okay, that's fair. You just have to take it slowly and carefully. Aw, oh, man. Oh, I just had to fall straight down? Okay. Hey, a third gun! <laughs> desert gun. Should've just been a desert eagle. Alright. So each gun gives an additional 5 attack power, I guess. Okay, well that was worth the trip up here. Okay, I think here would be a good place to end this episode. See you, everyone.